What a blessing it is to be together here in prayer. Thank you for joining us. And today, friends, in a special way, we welcome Father Jeff Harvey. He is a Vincentian priest. He's a brother priest in my order. And Father Jeff is going to join us on the team here at the God Minute and share his beautiful gifts and talents of preaching and his spiritual life. And I'm just, I'm just so thrilled and excited for this. I, I went to school with Father Jeff for many years. So uh, if you want to know any good gossip, you just let me know. <laughs> no, but, uh, oh, I know you're going to love him. So thank you for being with us as we begin our day in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare declare your grace. grace. Psalm 47 A God Who Never Leaves Clap your hands, stomp your feet, let your bodies and your voices explode with joy. God is not some human concoction. He is for real, and He is here. Despite all attempts to rationalize Him out of existence, God is in our world, and He reigns over our universe. The rulers of nations often ignore Him. People of learning often pass Him by. The masses of his creatures substitute their own little gods in his place and worship the things they can see and feel. Others build fortresses around themselves and announce no need for God. Our great God will not be ignored. He will not remove himself from our world. That is his promise. Let us recognize his presence and fill the air with his praises. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Father Jeff Harvey and I'm a Vincentian priest. I live and work in California, in Camarillo, uh, at the St. John Seminary, teaching and instructing seminarians. I'm very happy to be with all of you and be part of this God Minute team. Let us pray. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 16, verse 25. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. In late August in 2005, after Hurricane Katrina had hit the Gulf Coast, New Orleans, Arizona offered hospitality to around 3,500 people from that area to come to Arizona. And there were about 3,000 of them they came to Arizona. And we housed them in our convention center in the downtown area. And the Bishop of Phoenix asked me, I was a pastor in Phoenix at St. Vincent de Paul Catholic Church, He asked me to visit them once a week or twice a week and to offer whatever I could in support and prayer to them. And so I did. And I went there and I saw and listened to them. And uh, I saw, I heard their pain, saw their cries. And, And I offered whatever I could. But on Sunday, I had mass with them and about 2,500 of them would all come to mass. And I remember how they prayed and how they would sing and praise God as though nothing was wrong. 
They were just praising and worshiping God fully. And after the closing prayer one Sunday, I had asked them, I said, look, I, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I said, many of you have, you're out of your, your, your surroundings. You're living in the middle of a desert. Many of you have never been here before. But how can you praise God the way you did? You praise God as though nothing was wrong. And there was one woman in, up in front. She's about 72 years of age. She raised her hand. And she had a walker. And I went down to her. I took the mic to her. And she said, with her wonderful New Orleans accent, which I do not have, she said, Father, you are right. You are so right. We have lost everything. Many of us have lost family members. We've lost our home. We've lost our property. We've lost the city where we used to live. And now we're right in the middle of a desert. We just don't know anymore. But then she said this. She said, there's one thing that we do know. God is still on the throne. And when she said that, that whole place erupted in shouts of amens and hallelujahs and applause. Because they knew without a doubt that God had not turned his back on them, that God was still present to them. And that's why they were able to sing and shout for great joy, because God was still with them. We all have things we worry about and things that make us sad and angry. But God is always with us, always with us in our sadness, in our struggles, in our depressions. All we have to do is remain close to him. Reach out our hand and hold on to his. And God will see us through. And with our hearts and minds turn to God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you call each of us to holiness. Teach us your ways and guide our words so that we may speak only to edify and respond to the call to be holy as you are holy. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Isn't this a great thing to be together in prayer? <laughs> wow, thank you, friends, friends, <laughs> friends. <laughs> thank you for joining us today in prayer. Father Jeff, thank you for sharing your own beautiful reflection and for joining the team and being a part of us. It's so exciting. Can't you just tell that Father Jeff teaches homiletics to seminarians studying to be priests. Oh, what a great job. And today's reflection reminded me of a song that I want to leave you with today. Father Jeff talking about the Lord asking us to take his hand and to rise up. I love that. So I leave you with this song. I hope you enjoy it. I'm kind of combining Concert Friday here, but... May God's blessing wrap you and be with you, my friends, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. For the time that will come
Take my 